Hello guys, today I will be talking about the important questions that are asked from the head and neck section of anatomy during the examinations of the first year MBBS. So, moving on to the chapter back of neck and the contents of the orbit. From this chapter, the various questions that can be asked are extraocular muscles, contents of superior orbital fissure in orderly manner, branches of ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve. Now, short notes can be asked on the suboccipital triangle, nerve supply and actions of extraocular muscles, and a short note on ciliary ganglion is very important. Now moving on to the chapter mouth and the pharynx. The question that can be asked are a short note on soft palate. In this you have to write about the introduction, muscles of the palate, nerve and blood supply, passive and syringe, development and the clinical. This is important. Now a short note on the pharynx, valdeer string, palatine tonsil is very important. The structures forming the bed of the tonsil is also very important. Arterial and nerve supply of the tonsil is again very important. Bleeding after tonsillectomy is seen. Why? Can be asked. Short note on pyriform fossa is very important. Muscles of the pharynx is also very important. Sinus of morgagni is also very important. Killian's dehiscence is also important. Short note on auditory tube is not that important. Moving on to the chapter nasal and paranasal sinuses and the ear. In this Chapter, the various questions that can be asked are epistaxis is not that important, nasal septum is not that important, lateral wall of nose is very, 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 very important, maxillary sinus is also important, pterygopalatine ganglion is also very, very important, nerve supply of pinna is not that important, external acoustic meatus is also not that important, short note on tympanic membrane is very important. A long question on the middle ear can be asked on the boundaries. Medial wall of the middle ear is very very important. Contents of the middle ear is also very important. Arterial supply and the venous drainage and the nerve supply can be asked. Hmm. Now moving on to the chapter larynx and tongue. The various questions framed are long question on the larynx, short note on the intrinsic muscles of larynx. Movement of vocal cords is very important. Nerve supply of vocal cords is again very important. Mechanism of speech is again very important. And one question that is intrinsic muscles of larynx is also very, very important. Extrinsic muscles of tongue is not that important. Nerve supply and the lymphatic drainage of muscles forming the tongue is not that important. Development of tongue is very important. Guys, do like and subscribe my videos for more informations. Thank you.